हेलो एवरी वन द स्टोरी नेम इज द टेल ऑफ टॉम किटन रिटन एंड इलिस्ट्रेटेड बाय बीट्रिक्स पोटर वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देयर वॉज थ्री लिटिल किटन्स एंड देयर नेम्स वर माइटन्स टॉम किटन एंड पॉम्पिट दे हैड डियर लिटिल फर कोट्स ऑफ देयर ऑन एंड दे टम्बल्ड अबाउट द डोल स्टेप एंड प्लेड इन द डस्ट But one day their mother Mrs Tabitha Twitchit accepted friends to tea so she fetched the kittens in door to wash and dress them before the fine company arrived first she scrubbed their faces this one is moppet then she brushed their fur this one is mitens and then she combed their tails and whiskers this is tom kitten tom was very naughty and he scratched mrs tabita dressed moppet and mitten in clean pinafores and tuckers and then she took all sorts of elegant uncomfortable clothes out of a chest of her drawers in order to dress up her son thomas Tom kitten was very fat and he had drawn several buttons burst off his mother sewed them on again when the three kittens were ready mrs tabitha unwisely turned them out into the garden to be out of the way while she made hot butter toast now keep your frocks clean children you must walk on your hind legs keep away from the dirty ash pit and from Sally Henny Penny and from the pig stay and the puddle ducks Moppet and Mitens walked down the garden path unsteadily presently they trod upon their pinafores and fell on their noses when they stood up there were several green smears Let's climb up the rock tree and sit on the garden wall," said Moppet. They turned their pinafores back to front and went up with a skip and a jump. Moppet's white tucker fell down in the road. Tom kitten was quite unable to jump when walking upon his hind leg in trousers. He came up the rockery by degrees, breaking the ferns and shedding buttons right and left. He was all in pieces when he reached the top of the wall. Moppet and Mitens tried to pull him together. His hat fell off, and he the rest of his button burst. While they were in difficulties, there was a pit. pet paddle pet and the three paddle ducks came along the hard high road marching one behind the other and doing the goose step pit pet paddle pet pit pet paddle pet they stopped and stood in a row and stared up at the kittens they had a very small eyes and looked surprised Then the two duck birds, Rebecca and Jemima, paddle duck, picked up the head and tucker and put them on. Mitens laughed so that she fell off the wall. Moppet and Tom descended after her. The pinafores and the all rest of Tom's cloth came off on the way down. Come, Mister Drake, paddle duck," said Pommet. come and help us to dress him come and button up tom mr drake paddle duck advanced in a slow sideways manner and picked up the various articles but he put them on himself they fitted him even worse than tom kitten It's a very fine morning," said Miss Mr. Drake Paddle Duck.
and he and Jemima and Rubika paddled a set off up the road, keeping a step pit pat paddle pat pit pat waddle pat. Then the beta twitched, came down the garden and found her kittens on the wall with no clothes on. She pulled them off the wall, smacked them and took them back to the house. My friends will arrive in a minute and you are not fit to be seen. I am affronted, said Mrs. Tabitha Twitchit. She sent them upstairs and I am sorry to say she told her friend that they were in bed with the measles, which was not true. Quite the contrary, they were not in bed, not in the least. Somehow, there were very extraordinary noises overhead, which disturbed the dignity and repose of the tea party. And I think that someday I shall have to make another larger book to tell you more about Tom Kitten. As for the paddle ducks, they went into a pound. The claws all came off directly because there were no buttons. And Mr. Drake, Puddle Duck and Jemima and Rubika have been looking for them ever since. The end. Subscribe my channel for more amazing stories and click the bell icon. Like my videos. Thank you.